there is a statement in question number 3 and, and it, the question says that given below are three quotations of great thinkers. We are going to discuss the first one which is the quotation by Mahatma Gandhi and uh, they ask that what do each of these quotations convey to you in the present context. So, the first uh, quotation by Mahatma Gandhi is the simplest act of kindness are by far more powerful than a thousand heads bowing in prayer. That simply means that he is talking about the importance of action over sitting down and praying. Act of kindness. How act of kindness is more important than praying. So, even if thousand people are praying and one person is acting through kindness by compassion and empathy, that is more important than prayer itself. So, it is said that prayer is the first means of the weak and the last mean of the strong. So, any person who is a strong person will always try to act first rather than praying. This is also said by uh, Vivekanand in many of his speeches and talks and writings that action is necessary to eliminate poverty, to eliminate hunger in our society. We should be strong. We should go on and start work and should not stop ourselves until we achieve whatever goal we have set. That applies to material world and the spiritual world as well. That applies to everything. You have to act. You cannot just sit down and pray. Once you have acted with the full capacity, then praying helps. I am remember, uh, I, I recall this one uh, incident which I have uh, wrote, uh, I have read in Wings of Fire. That was a book written by uh, late President of India, uh, Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam, in which he writes that we had limited resources when this guide, integrated guided missile development program was initiated in India. They had very limited resources and he was made the head of it. So, what did they do? They said that uh, there were failures and every time uh, scientists face failures and they have to learn and build upon those failures to become successful. They have to refine their working, refine the product they are making by learning and they cannot be emotional about it. They have to be very emotionally intelligent and mature in order to progress because what work they are doing is a national, uh, you know, uh, safety work or uh, you know some work which involves the great honor of the nation so it's not a it's not a light work it's a very heavy work they are doing it's it's a work with honor there's so much of uh, moral integrity involved in all those things so during making a missile development program uh, under that program when they were working on a particular uh, long range missile he said that we have limited resources. So, what Abdul Kalam has decided and conveyed to its team is that we are going to double our hard work. So, hard work will be doubled. For example, they were working for 8 hours, now they will be working for 16 hours and they have actually done it. They have doubled their hard work and then left everything. left everything on God. Think about it, if they were working for 8 hours and they continued to work for 8 hours and leaving everything on God, would God help them? Would the prayers help them? No. These prayers are only answered, the nature or the existence of God, whatever you call them, only answers when you do your 100%. You do your action. That is what Bhagavad Gita says. You have to act without thinking about the result. 
and you have to act according to your dharma if you are a teacher teach properly if you are a student study properly that is what it is it's very simple we make the life complicated so hard work doubled and left everything to the god so general examples if we give uh, from our daily life for example you see a person has been hit by a car and uh, on the road and he is there bleeding few people do not help him by taking him to the hospital rather pray for the uh, well being of that person that oh god you know something has happened something miserable and bad has happened please save this person better would be if you just jump out of your car take the person to the hospital call the ambulance call the police or if there is no time then take the person in your own car to the hospital to the nearby hospital that few minutes can save the person's life that is the touch of kindness which you give into your act which mahatma gandhi is saying is more important than 1000 heads praying or bowing in prayer so in public governance when uh, you uh, become a bureaucrat and you are sitting on a particular post and you have decisions to make or you have policies and regulations to make what kind of policies and regulations you are making what kind of decisions you are taking are those decisions based on the action taken by the government or government is at the back seat and letting whatever is happening happen on its own there are few areas which are called as uh, you know difficult areas or crime areas in in metropolitans where it is dangerous for you to go what government is doing wishing that the things will get better or acting that is uh, how you can explain something in governance but this particular quotation that the simplest act of kindness are far more powerful than a thousand bowing heads invokes some kind of courage in a person courage in an uh, individual to act does not matter whether this person is acting in personal capacity private capacity or a government capacity or uh, as, as an as an uh, government official think of a situation if you are in a area where there has been a problem related with uh, terrorists and uh, a particular locality is under terrorist attack you had a team of five soldiers what will you do will you act or will you just stay there praying that maybe you know something happens and somehow these people uh, stop firing on the common masses when the mumbai attack took place the people who were firing the terrorists had machine guns in their hand which can fire so many bullets in a minute the police personals there only had a danda in their hand or a rifle which you know do not work properly but instead of that instead of uh, putting their life in safety they have put their life in danger and they have uh, you know proved their metal one of the police personnel has jumped on ajmal kasab to catch him and he knew that the person has a machine gun and if he shoots it is his life which is in danger but he does not sit there or hide himself or bow his head in prayer rather acted and what ended up happening is that we had a proof that these terrorists came from pakistan and if that person would have been killed there would be nobody to speak they have caught him alive because of the valor of one policeman so always action is very important and praying comes afterwards again do not forget one quotation that prayer is the first means of the weak 
and the last means of the strong so in my understanding that is what this statement conveys now we have our own knowledge basis you can come up with some other interpretation also but the core structure is going to be almost same you can write this answer with your own understanding also with your own examples also so students uh, we have discussed three important questions from 2023 examination of ethics we are going to take up more questions like this in the coming sessions do not forget to enroll for 250 batch uh, 250 questions batch which is going to come up in this uh, month of july and which is going to improve your mains preparation for the civil service examination of 2024 and of 2025 so whoever wants to improve in the ethics preparation can join this course thank you very much for listening